hope to work on that. Has quite a few medic marines there to support his turrets. So the mutalisks, as this goes on, just gonna have a little bit more trouble flying in. Do manage to just one shot some marines there, but still want to be careful not to take too much fire for GG while rebuilding his turrets. And finally has mostly tur enough turrets all over the place to basically try to box Hero in. Still has no turrets on the left side of the natural expo, but it's kind of a location kind of hard to get to and kind of hard to put up a turret there without damaging yourself. Hydra Demi went up, picked up the overall left in position. Does look like Hero's going to go uh, in transition to Lurkers. Now Mew's going to fly in again, pick off uh, Donato's turrets, taking some heavy fire, but still managing to pick off some Marines. And keeping a very large muted grouping, and I like this play from him here, doing a good job of being annoying. Early on, didn't quite get the, uh, the damage he would have wanted to, but finally managed to keep his mutas going. Now, at the very least, he's losing some, he's taking damage, he's losing some mutas, but he flies them off, and at the very least, he keeps them around. He keeps for Gigi inside of his base, and kind of tries to make sure that for Gigi doesn't just run amok or across the map. For Gigi doesn't care at this point, he feels maybe he has enough defense. And second eBay coming up right now for him. Got to start working on his control tower, get that science facility going right there. So let's get a science facility out there, keeping some of his forces back home. Actually running with his medic marines across the map to a 12 o'clock position. Maybe thinking of expanding there to pick up the mineral only. Meanwhile, now some city going up there. Uh, yeah, kind of SimCity. Well, you only see what like actual defensive s proper SimCity, mostly against Protoss because it's really necessary against those CTs to make them... Um, <laughs> make them less viable. A few Marines getting caught in the middle of this. Oh, no medics to support. Some of those going to run back before they die, but with no, medic, uh, with no medics to support them against Mutalisks, uh, Marines become quite, quite vulnerable. Oh, scan going to come off. Spot only one second colony. So for GG rushes this, he might still get that two creep colonies going to come down. There are a lot of Mutalisks out there, though, so I don't think for GG really going to be able to do much at all with this. Has only one group of medic Marines. Has another one coming in there from the left side, not nearly enough to do much with it. Gonna cut, just wait outside, trying to attack those mutals. He's not gonna be able to attack the natural expo. There's at least not enough time to, uh, for those to bypass those two extra sunken that are coming out. But also the lot of troops coming to the left side. So there's actually a beautiful move here from Fergigi, moving a lot of his forces to the left side, sacrificing a group of marines here on this right side, just outside the natural expansion. The lower left position is significantly vulnerable. Illusion chip on the way. Only a few hydras there to defend. No lurkers in this position. Now here, gonna spot this attack coming in. Gonna pick off the finally pick off that group of medic marines that he was fighting outside of his natural expansion. But even more reinforcements coming in here for for GG doing a great job sniping one hatchery. Now he's just gonna try to kill as much as he can. All those drones went off the uh, came off the line, went and fled. Illusion ship are gonna go down. Might have been taken down. Then Den lurkers are gonna come and play very soon. Still no science was out there for him fighting a lot. <laughs> Fighting the Mutalisks and trying to pick off the Hydra's Den at the same time. The Hydra Den will go down. The Lurkers come in play just now. Marines gonna have to flee. Gonna take one shot from the Lurkers. Only a few Marines left at this point. These Marines will go down. Try to do as much damage as you can. Scam come off. Picking off one Lurker. Drones come back into play here. But but I do believe that these Medic Marines are actually gonna be forced. Only four Marines that are still staying in. Uh, being healed. The Lurkers are coming close. Yet again, gonna burn down. One gonna die before that happens. For GG looking a little bit sweaty there. But still can be four Marines. Gonna try to pick off. Yeah, gonna go for that extractor pillow. Just gonna try to keep those alive. Scanning yet again. Trying to pick off those lurkers. Doing a great job of micring his forces there. Might almost managing to pick off another lurker. But finally gonna lose all those forces on the ground that are doing a great job. Could have maybe micro down them down to lower left hand corner and try to pick off some more drones, but he instead went to try to damage them as lurkers and did a great job of picking a few of them off. And really doing a great job of keeping those forces alive and just kinda tricking here into falling for it. Did did sacrifice two whole control groups. Two whole groups of medic marines there, but still great job. Took down some tech, took down an evo chamber, took down an additional hatchery. Not necessarily the qu hatchery quite one. Take down, oh no, lurkers! Lurkers riding on top on the bridge! Bridge of death right there. Picking up, I think, four or five marines. One lurkers with six kills there. Not quite sure whether those were all in one shot, but damn, might have been. Ah. Uh, just now getting his tech up, getting his evil back up, evil chamber back up, Queen's Nest on the way. Meanwhile, on the opposite side, we do see 4GG with a couple of science vessels, a couple of tanks, gonna have siege on that, and some medic marines, science vessels just flying around. They're finally gonna be able to put an end to that mutalist threat, those irradiates. Uh, of course, doing a lot of damage to mutalists. Even if you manage to split time, you gotta pretty much have an instantaneous split to avoid taking any serious damage and losing only one mutalist. But usually, you do see a second or two of delay, and that is a significant amount of damage. And weak, really weakens your mutalists and leaves them uh, 
you know, open to just being mopped up by those medic marines. Weapons 1 and armor 1 upgrades for Fergigi working on 2-2 at the moment. But it has those three tanks in there, a decent number of forces. Wondering when it's actually going to go for the Oro FTND yet again. Does seem like it's just going to try to go in from the high ground. Science missiles first, spotting the lurkers and the eggs. Irradiating a couple of them, just now getting weapons too. No carapace upgrades, no upgrades whatsoever for a hero. So for Gigi, going to be able to do a lot of damage here. Just has to utilize it well. Six lurkers at the lower position. Does look a little bit vulnerable. I think that was actually the final, the final number of mutilists out there dying. Did not spot this base actually. Okay, I was not paying attention to the minimap. Too much micro going on. But Hero has picked up the six card base for himself. That's now in danger. A few lurkers and second colonies to defend that. And for G doing a good job of there is keeping the sciences alive by floating those uh, marines, having those marines close by. Has to be very careful going for a pins because there are a lot of lurkers on the left side. So Hero might try to backside him. You know, <clears throat> surprise butt sex, that kind of thing. But for Gigi doing a great push here, going to be able to really shell that 6 o'clock position. Leaving himself a little, bit, a little bit vulnerable to surprise attacks. Just running around the map with nothing but those marines with no medic support. But now going to finally go and finish off the second colony. And just going to transition into that natural apparently. Just going to siege on that. And what other is he going to do that from the 6 o'clock position? Don't believe he quite can, but he's going to try to go for that force. Has meanwhile a bunch of marines going for this lower left position. Seems like he's trying to do some more diversionary tactics. Unfortunately, the weakness of the lower, uh, left, si left side force, no medics to support them. Having a few medics would make it so much stronger. But I do believe these marines are just going to be ripped to pieces very quickly. Not shooting to accomplish too much. Actually going to be forced back, taking some hits from the sunkens. And just going to run back while well, he's just going to... For GG set himself up. Hero just not working on his defiler mount. Getting a defiler out there would significantly weaken this push from for GG, but he has great timing going for him right now. If he goes for that natural at this very moment, he's going to be able to do a significant amount of damage. Also has a few medic marines waiting outside near that inside 9 o'clock position. Just reinforcement forces. And he's going to go for this right now. Siege up some of these some of these marines. A lot of lurkers though coming in from the left side. Tanks in danger. Tanks going to go down to those lurkers. And for GG might want to bring in those reinforcements right now. Because medic marines are being open, <laughs> surrounded on all sides. The lurkers has a force there outside in the 9 o'clock natural. Not going to do much with it. Lost all of his tanks unfortunately. Has those science vessels still in play to spot the lurkers. But the far is coming out. Second Evo chamber also out there for here. So going to try to compete with the upgrades. Don't think he's going to be able to do that too well. Because for GG has two to upgrade on his ground forces has done a great job of that radiating some of those workers as well and Zerglings just now have Carapace 1 upgrade so still just yeah a lot of damage that the Medicarine is going to do. 4 GG meanwhile has kept up great uh, done a great job of keeping up with his army production does have that mineral only at the 12 o'clock position going and just producing forces right now knows that he has to keep on the pressure losing a few forces there with workers and Zerglings but managed to keep a decent size of his army there at the left side alive wondering when he's actually going to try to push in and reinforce that force at the natural. Maybe pins are in those lurkers that are holding back the marines. Or was actually going to try to swing around to the left side. Maybe go for a duel. Kind of distract five or six. Well, what was that? Seven? Six or seven science cells at this point. A lot of radiates going to come off. Nidus Canal is on the way. So Hero's hoping to get himself up. But it's still uh, hoping to be safe now. But I still feel that 4GG is in a, such a superior position. That Hero really can't do much. That Defiler might be the saving grace. Actually going <laughs> to... Eat. I believe he actually, I don't think, no, I don't think he actually managed to think it was a radio or because he managed to consume that. Couple of followers out there. Eraser trick! Oh man, he has so many times he just eraser trick. Trying to get those drones, not really doing much to him, but Hero spotting the bad position he's in. Not even going to bother fighting bad. Didn't really have much in the way of troops at all. So he did GG for GG getting the first set win. And uh, since I came in so late with all this stuff, I'm just going to go on and continue these two guys' fights. And I know that this first set was played like a week ago, but whatever. We're just going to ignore that. GG guys, wrenching up. This listening. Hope you enjoyed.